Welcome back everyone. On this episode we're going to sand down the bonding that I done last week and start fiberglass in and hopefully might be able to get this ceiling on underneath the deck and then start working our way towards the toilet area. Okay, let's get on to it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna yeah sand all this down. I've already done this, the bottom half of the board, so it's really just the top half here and the top half there. Ain't gonna worry about the other side for now because I just want to hurry up and get this fiberglass in, and then we can start working on this ceiling here. And then once that's in, I can start getting the boards up for the taller, getting the stringers in as well. Um, Thanks for everyone who's subscribed so far, almost hit the 200 marker I think and for all the comments, uh, some good suggestions there which I will work on, um, but yeah let's uh, get into sanding. Okay, just finished sanding both top sides and hoovered this. What I think I'm gonna do next before fiberglassing, because I've only got a couple hours left here, is give the bilge a final coat of paint. And then, I don't know if you remember last week, if you see it, actually resin wash this, this is nice and dry now. So I'm gonna give this coat of paint as well let that dry overnight and then I can put that back on top which would be just so much easier for me to get across and get to the fiberglass and stage uh, but yeah so I'll, I'll do that now Okay, and that's the second coat in the build. So that's probably its final coat to be honest with you. I don't think it needs any more than that. It's really good. Should seal it all up nice. And then I've done the first coat of that. Looks really good. So that is the bottom of the double bed, just, just to protect it. You know what, I wanna cover myself all the time. Um, I did notice I didn't film it last week but someone did mention in the comments uh, thanks for that uh, so I did jack it up and then what I've done is I've put this board in its place for now until I've finished this double bed floor and can get the toilet walls over and then I will be jacking it back up and keeping the jack under there but that is that is solid at the moment holding everything up um, I think the next part will be wait for this to dry. Um, maybe I might have enough time, I'm not too sure. It depends how fast it dries. I couldn't put it outside this time because how wide it is, it was such a pain to get it through this doorway and down. 
otherwise I would have put it outside to dry a bit quicker. But So I'm going to let this dry, hopefully get the second coat on today, which means that will be in place tomorrow and we can start fiberglassing all the back. Uh, if not, I'll um, give it a second coat of paint tomorrow and get all the um, fiberglass cut out ready to go just to save a bit of time. But okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, still the same day. This is now touch dry. So I'm gonna give this a second coat, which uh, means it'll be dry by tomorrow and I can actually put it in place and leave it in place. So yeah, that's how I can do this. Okay, and that's uh, second coated all the way around the edges, apart from the end bit. Couldn't get to that. Climbing over there was a bit of a pain, but that's second coated. And I've just quickly gone over the top rails as well, just to give that an extra coat. Uh, so it now, hopefully that'll dry overnight. I can go back tomorrow, pull it in place and that'll permanently stay there, then I won't need to take it back out. And we can crack on with the uh, fiberglass in. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, new day. Perfect, bone dry. All the sides are perfect, all dry. And all of this, so now, really, this double, bed floor can be put into place and won't have to be moved again to be honest with you. Um, I'll leave it like four inches out just so I can fiberglass down the sides but that'll clear some space and won't have to worry about climbing over all of these. This has had two coats, that's had two coats so I'm sure that's enough to you know protect everything. So yeah, I'll come on and put this in place. Okay, and that's the last time that double bed has to come out. It is, it is really awkward. I mean, I know I've got some boards here that could probably be put out of the way, but it is, when I cut it and brought it in here, it was, really awkward like I said yesterday um, so I think today's gonna be my last day on this boat uh, this week so I'm gonna try and uh, do most of the fiberglassing get as much done as I can today um, because I know uh, for the next couple of days I'm gonna be cement in my back garden so that's a couple of days I'm away from the boat um but yeah enough of that I'm gonna cut out all the fiberglass first uh lay it all out on here so it's all ready to go like I have done on these ones and then I should be able to just carry on okay Okay, and that's all the bits cut out. <laughs> Silly little bits really, but it's such a, you know, awkward angles and everything. So it should hold it nice and strong, double layered everything. And you start with a small one, go with a bigger one, 
Um, and then I've got the big bits here ready to go straight across here. It should be great. Um, I'm only going to do up to here on the first batch, just so it don't cure quick, quick and leave me struggling. I'll just do this section and I'll do the next and so on. Uh, but yeah, okay. Okay, and that's that side done. All the way up there, all the way around and that. Definitely a lot harder upright than it is obviously on the floor. Uh, made it quite a big mess, but I just used some acetone to make it all smooth. I mean, this will be um, resin washed in the future. Uh, as you can see, I just pulled it out a little bit just so I can put the fiberglass down there. That's two layers all the way around. Um, so yeah, I'll just carry on going across. I mean, that's definitely probably going to be the hardest upside down. Uh, so I'll do that next. But at least it's only going to be probably three strips instead of loads of silly little off cuts. But yeah, so I'll carry on with that. Okay, and that's that bit done. All double layered like normal. Uh, I had a little bit of resin left, and it's good to have like little bits of off cut just around you, just in case. So what I've managed to do is get a third layer, which is going completely around, probably about two to three inches up that way, and about four to six up this way. And I just managed to tuck it around and up both sides, split it in the middle. So that is nice and secure, that side now. So the only bit I've got left to do is that bit up there, which should be quite nice because this side's one straight line and then it's just, look, this would be the worst bit, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, and that's our whole backboard fiberglassed in. I thought it was going to be easier. I thought wrong. All up there was real tight, but I managed to get actual three layers up there um, just to protect it a little bit more because I knew I couldn't get the bonding paste behind that one all the way at the top. So I've got three layers up there, up here, and then back to two across there um, but that is the whole like I said backboard done uh, so really that's probably going to be it for this week but next week what I want to do just a quick heads up is I'm going to take the the seat off the captain's seat and then what I've got to do is put a board along here so it It'd be easier to pull it in now, then bond the toilet in so I can cut it off before. Otherwise, I've got to try and work out the measurements, try and get it in on an angle, and it just wouldn't work. So, but that'll be a job for next week. If I can get down here anytime, you know, why I'm cementing, uh, I'll try. But I really do think that's it. So, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Cheers.